Yeah, we had Spring Lake Park in Blaine showing off that social distancing on the tennis side. So we'll get to those highlights. Super fun to have them still in action. Bengals and Panthers meeting on that hard court. We'll go to first doubles. Olivia Busick and Alexa Nielsen for the Panthers. Grace Halthus Halseth and Allison Terry for the Bengals. Bengals off to a slow start. Busick got the finish up 3-2 in that first set were the Panthers, but a run of three straight from the Bengals gets them the victory in the first set. Remember that power from Terry. It'll come up there later, even though she missed that one. Just note that. In the second set, aces. Halseth all smiles after her perfect serve as the Bengals got out to a 5-1 lead in the second set. A couple of juniors trying to take care of business, and they would win it. 6-1 to take the match. Match goes 6-3, 6-1. And our own Nick Walsh caught up with a pair of Halseth and Terry. What about that slow start and putting that one behind you? At first, I think it was because we were on TV, a little nervous. <laughs> but um, otherwise, then we're like, okay, we just got to get out of our heads. And we know how to play. So we just pretty much have to talk through it and work together. And otherwise, we do pretty good. We just like know how to like work together and pick each other up. So once we like got back to things, like we knew like we were gonna be fine. And even if we lost a point here and there, like it was gonna be okay. Yeah, we've uh, been playing together for a while with multiple sports, and we've known each other since kindergarten. So we have a pretty good connection. Well, I've been playing singles for a while, and um, I just excel like, at the net, and I love to like hit the ball, and I like to hit it hard. And so Grace has to yell at me sometimes to hit softer, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, that's where I excel and that's where I like to play. I think that just like them serving got us like we had to do one good res like return and then Allison, if we kept it deep, then they'd pop it up right to Allison at the net and then she'd just smash it down, which is like what we've been trying to work on. Just keep let ha letting them feed her at the net because that's where she's really strong at. Yeah, we so. like to say like just Grace return it and then it'll hit back to me and we'll smash it and that's point and then that gets game and that's just how we like to work together. All right, definitely a team effort. It showed out there that you were very comfortable, as it sounds like you are in a lot of sports playing together, yeah. uh, uh, playing the angles. And, of course, when we're interviewing here in these weird COVID times, yeah. don't forget to look at the camera with the angle. Wave that way for, for all your adoring fans. So, uh, Grace Hall, Seth, Allison, Terry, thanks for joining Thank us here today. Congratulations. The return of the smash for that win on first doubles. They did not get the win the next time out against Coon Rapids. That would be on Friday. Blaine did win against Coon Rapids, taking the match four out of three. They split singles. Brooke Freeland, Jillian Salisbury got the wins in singles for the Bengals. Freeland, after losing the first set, bounced back to win two straight. And then in doubles, two more wins picked up by the Bengals. Evelyn Scheibe and Emma Milley won in straight sets. That's number two doubles. And number three doubles, Claire Merck and Kirsten Steika won that one 6-3 and then edged out their doubles opponents in the second set, 7-6. Spring Lake Park had a tough matchup here on the 11th versus Osseo. They didn't get to complete the match because of rain, but they completed four matches, so they don't have to make this one up. Plenty of tennis action this week on the girls' side. Maple Grove, the opponent for Blaine. Centennial hosts Anoka. Rogers, the opponent for Spring Lake Park at home. Spring Lake Park and Centennial, a matchup of our teams coming up. Second matchup of the week this week on the girls' side.